Welcome back to Barn Belt Beaters. In the last episode, we took the bed off of the old frame and transferred it onto the new one. Right now, it's just blocked up. It's sitting on some two by fours and it looks really, really goofy. So this episode, we are going to be making this look a little bit better and like it's actually meant to be on this chassis. How we're gonna do that is we have to take a look at the cross members for the bed and see how they line up with the frame uh, if we have to notch the frame, if we have to cut some things out, or just simply modify certain aspects. So the first step would be to look at the cross members and get a plan from there. What I've already done off camera is I've measured the height of each cross member as they vary ever so slightly different. We put them on our trusty piece of cardboard and they measured anywhere from three and an eighth inches all the way down to two inches. So our next step is to take the bed off, put it somewhere safe, and then we can start working on the new frame. It's been a couple of days since I last filmed and I've been working on this copper tubing. What is this you ask? This resembles my bed. The copper fixture gives me an accurate representation of where the cross members are going to be as well as the height of each one of them. The bottom of the copper pipe resembles the bottom of the truck bed and as you can tell it's not laying flush onto the frame as this cross member here is in the way. What we're gonna have to end up doing is cutting out the cross member and modifying it so the whole bed can sit flush on the frame and sink that frame up into the body to hide it. Anything sticking up above the frame rails has gotta go, so we'll start by cutting out those things first. Now that we have the coil cross member cut out, I've taken the time and marked out the location of each of the cross members and where they correspond on the frame, as well as how wide of a chunk we had to cut out, how deep, and if we're going all the way through or not. Here and here, we're going all the way through, and over on this portion, we're only going maybe three quarters of the way through the frame, so we'll have to box it in and build up some of that strength back. Now that we've finished channeling the frame, we can then get the box over here to see how it looks prior to boxing in the channels as well as building the front body mounts since most of the weight will be on the back half of the frame anyways. So let's get this over here and see how it looks. Well, there you have it. The bed is on the frame. It's sitting on there, full weight, down all the way. I have the tires sitting on the ground. I just wanted to see how they would look with the bed installed. And there's no suspension in the truck right now, so I have our trusty four x four there. It's um, propped up. I'm not entirely sure the spacing, but I'm assuming it's something like this. It might be a little bit taller. But overall, I think it looks pretty good. The frame is really honestly hidden quite well. 
Um, it is sticking up underneath the truck, but I think it looks acceptable and not goofy. And channeling that frame, uh, it really made it look a lot better. Uh, I did cut away a little bit too much in certain spots, but I saved the pieces so I can cut those, weld them back in, and no one will even ever know. So I'm really freaking happy. Our next steps for a future video will be where we channeled the frame in, we're gonna have to box those sections in, and then we will have to build the front body mounts of the bed. So I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you subscribed if you aren't already and uh, leave a comment if you have any questions or just wanna you know, chat. So catch you in the next one. Thanks guys.